As part of a week-long rigging course with Metro Fire, we spent a day at Fair Oaks Park doing bluff rescue. This is about a 160-foot bluff over the American River, and Metro Fire sees a lot of rescue activity here. It's common to need to set up the rescue system where there are no natural anchors, so as part of this scenario, Metro Fire wanted to set up the vortex as a sideways A-frame and use pickets for all anchors in the system. The first step to any high angle scenario is to pick a solid team leader or rescue group supervisor. The RGS will identify the fall line and then make team assignments. Everyone will key off the fall line, which is the point the rescue system will change direction and go over the edge. Main assignments include the litter attendant, the mainline riggers, the high directional riggers, edge control, and the safety officer. The litter attendant must get the ends of the two main lines and rig the litter bridle and his personal attachment point. The litter attendant must anticipate all patient packaging needs and be prepared to adjust the attitude of the litter as needed. The mainline riggers must set up suitable anchors that are compatible with the identified fall line. Obviously large trees or even a well-placed rig will make the most expedient anchors, but a rescue picket system can be a big time saver when there are no other anchor options in the fall line. Rescue pickets are typically 1 inch diameter and 48 inches long. These are titanium pickets, which are super cool, and they're using Rescue 3 picket anchor plates, which allow really fast and secure placement of the system. You just drive in three pickets and connect your anchor to the plate. No back tying or other rigging is required. We tested the picket anchor plate in dry compact soil, and it easily held 6,000 pounds. One of the nice things about a picket anchor system is that you can choose the placement and in this case it sets up the workstation ideally so that the two MPD operators have a comfortable stance and can face each other to make it easy to regulate and equalize speed and system control. The high directional rigging group in this example assembles the Arizona Vortex safely back from the edge. For a sideways A-frame we typically use two outer legs and one inner leg for the front leg and three outer legs and one inner leg for the rear leg. Our goal is for the front leg to be nearly straight up and down and the blue A-frame head at a 30 to 45 degree angle to the ground. The main line is most often rigged in a swivel pulley at the A-frame head and we like to hang the second line or belay line from a set of fours so that we can vary its height above ground to reduce risk during the edge transition. Be sure to have a tag line on the high directional as it is moved out into position at the edge. We use two pickets for each guy line anchor. The majority of force goes into compression on these SA frame legs, so a two picket anchor is plenty strong for these guy lines. The guy lines for the SA frame should end up in a plane in the middle between the front and rear leg. In this case, the adjustable guy line is on the right and the tension guy line is on the left and is tensioned with a set of force. The riggers and edge control must make an assessment on the soil stability at the bluff edge. Two of the high directional riggers will become edge control. They must have travel restrictions so they can operate at the edge. Travel restriction is intended to prevent a rescuer from being able to fall over the edge. Edge control members will assist the litter attendant with the transition and they'll manage edge protection to prevent friction and damage to the main lines as they change direction. When all rigging is complete, the RGS should run a pretension checklist, which is basically a roll call of all positions to make sure everybody's ready. Once the rescuer has safely pretensioned the system, a final safety check is done. The final safety check looks at the system when it's under tension to make sure the rigging still looks good and that components are loaded properly. Once safety reports that all is okay, do a final roll call starting with the attendant and ending with the mains, then give the command to lower. Some teams pass control to the edge control as they have eye contact with the attendant. The important thing is that a control person is identified and only that person can give the command to lower or raise. Anybody can say stop. Oh, stop. Don't forget to lower the set of fours with the second line in it as the rescuer is lowered below the lip. 
And in this case, they noticed some Edge Pro is needed and they put a wide canvas pad over the lip area to prevent sloughing of the lip. So as a nice overview, the sideways A-frame is a very stable high directional configuration for bluff rescue. Rescue pickets make excellent anchors for the main lines and high directional guy lines when you have cohesive compact soil. Give some consideration to a ground pad under the front foot to distribute force. This is case by case, but the front foot could cause some sloughing of a soil lip, so err on the side of caution. For Desert Rescue Research, I'm Tom Penley. Be safe.